Hello, this is Maria Helena Alexander Zimbala from B and One B, and my topic is the world-renowned visual artist. So these are the top 12 greatest visual artists of all time and their famous works. So first here is Michelangelo. Michelangelo is regarded as the greatest sculptor and painter of all time. He was a major figure of the Renaissance in Italy, especially in Florence and Rome. Even today, some of his marble carvings have a flawless beauty. Michelangelo is a popularly known for the Ital Italian Renaissance culture as well as the Sistine Chapel frescoes, among other incredible works of art. So his first famous works here at the first picture is the Creation of Adam. Creation of Adam is a fresco painting by Italian artist Michelangelo, which, firm, which forms part of the Sistine Chapel ceiling, illustrates the biblical creation narrative from the book of Genesis in which God gives life to Adam, the first man. The fresco is part of a complex iconographic scheme and is chronologically the fourth in the series of panels depicting episodes from Genesis. At the second one is the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Painted by Michelangelo between 1508 and 1512 is a cornerstone work of high Renaissance art. So the second here is Rembrandt. Van. Rembrandt is a Dutch painting genius who created several masterpieces. Rembrandt is a particularly renowned for his passion for history painting and still life portraits. He made several canvases famous for their emotional content, which is why Rembrandt was branded as a realist painter. These are his famous works. So the first picture is without a doubt the most famous of all Rembrandt's paintings. The Night Watch is a group portrait of the Militia Company of Captain Franz Banning Kokyo and Lieutenant William Van in the center painted in 1642. The Night Watch isn't a night scene as long believed. Cleaning in the mid-1905 revealed that it is set in daylight. During relocation in the 18th century, the most famous Rembrandt's painting was trimmed, most notably on the left side which resulted in the loss of some characters but it also changed the composition of the painting by making the lightly clothed girl and lieutenant the dominant figures of the scene. The night watch is housed in the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam. The second is painted in 1633, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee depicts the miracle of Jesus calming the storm. The only Rembrandt's painting in a seascape setting has unfortunately been lost for more than two decades. In 1990, it was stolen from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston by two thieves disguised as police officers. Besides, the storm on, on the sea is Galilee. The thieves have also stolen Rembrandt's portrait of a lady and gentleman in black and 11 other major artworks with a total value of $300 million. In 2013, the FBI announced that they know who stands behind of the largest art heist in history but the frames that used to hold the masterpieces still hung empty. The third here is Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso is the founder of Cubism, is one of the most influential artists in history. He was a sculptor, printmaker, painter, and ceramicist. He produced several of the greatest paintings of the 20th century. Born to a painter father, Picasso received all the needed encouragement to build a successful painting career. This gave him the privilege to study art in some of the finest art schools in Spain. He was among the 250 sculptors who exhibited the third sculpture international held in America. His style and technique was exceptionally prolific throughout his lifetime, producing a total number of 50,000 artworks, including drawings, paintings, and sculptures, among others of all forms of art. Picasso excelled most in painting. So these are his famous works. The first picture is The Girl Before a Mirror in 1932. Girl Before a Mirror was painted in March 1932. It was produced in the style Picasso was using at the time and evoked an image of vanity such as had been utilized in art in earlier eras. Through Picasso shifts the emphasis and creates a very different view of the image. 
the work is considered in terms of the erotic and Picasso's art, and critics and different periods have offered their assessments of the work to show a wide range of reactions. The young girl was named Marie Therese Walter and was painted multiple times during the 1930s by Picasso. So, Girl Before a Mirror is an oil on canvas painting by Pablo Picasso. And the second picture here is The Weeping Woman. It's a series of oil on canvas paintings by Pablo Picasso, the last of which was created in late 1937. The paintings depict Dora Maar, Picasso's mistress and muse. The Weeping Woman paintings were produced by Picasso in response to the bombing of Guernica in the Spanish Civil War and are closely associated with the iconography in his painting Guernica. Picasso was intrigued with the subject of the Weeping Woman and revisited the theme numerous times that year. The last version, created on 26th of October 1937, was the most elaborate of the series and has been housed in the collection of the Tate Motor in London since 1987. Another Weeping Woman painting is housed at the National Gallery of the Victoria and was involved in a high-profile political art threat. So based on a whipping woman on an image of a woman holding her head child, it is taken from Picasso's anti-war mural Guernica. Picasso painted both works during the Spanish Civil War in 1936-39. So the fourth one is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo was born in Florence, Italy despite living several centuries ago. He still remains one of the most influential artists of all time. His only training was in the field of science and he was apprenticed or apprenticed at an early age to a renowned Florence painter of the time. Leonardo was regarded as an intellectual in his lifetime because of his passion for science. Leonardo's contribution to art world were small but two of his paintings are the most popular today, The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, which is the only surviving fresco of Leonardo da Vinci. The fact that his interest ranged beyond art could have been the reason why his input was very small. In his lifetime, so engrossed was he in physics and mechanics, that he created workable artistic designs for bicycles, among other things. This is what is popularly believed to be the cost of his failure to complete several of his paintings and art projects. There are also credible reports that he spent a significant amount of time thinking and testing scientific laws as well as writing his observations about them. So here are his famous works. So the first picture is the Mona Lisa and the second one is the Lost Supper. So Mona Lisa is a half-length portrait painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci considered an archetypal masterpiece of the Italian Renaissance, it has been described as the best known, the most visited, the most written about, and the most sung about, the most parodied work of art in the world. The painting's novel qualities include the subject's enigmatic expression, the monumentality of the composition, the subtitle modeling, or the subtle modeling of forms and the atmospheric illusion. The second one is The Last Supper is one of the most renowned paintings in the world. It was commissioned for the Dominican Abbey of Santa Maria del Grazi by Lodovico Sforza, Doc of Neman, and Leonardo's patron during his first day in that city. So here also is Claude Monet. Claude Monet is a popularly regarded as the founder of French Impressionist painting. Monet had an incredible passion for documenting the countryside in his numerous paintings. This was the birth of his Impressionist paintings when Mani went to Paris, or when Monet went to Paris, he observed several artists copying the popular works of other artists rather than follow this trend. Monet developed the habit of sitting by an available window and painting what he saw. Gradually, Monet became popular for his Impressionism. He influenced several young artists and made them commit to Impressionism, and within a short period of time, Impressionism became a popular form of painting in Paris. 
Sometime in 1874, the first Impressionism exhibition took place in Paris. In that exhibition, Monet presented a total of 12 artworks which included 5 paintings and 7 pastels. So Impressionism, Sunrise, is a painting, painting by Claude Monet first shown at what would become known as the Exhibition of the Impressionists in Paris in April 1874. The painting is credited with inspiring the name of the Impressionist movement. So the second one is the La Grenelier. In the 19th century, La Grenelier was a popular resort with a spa, boating facilities, and floating cafe. It was located on the River Seine and just a quick train trip from Paris. Young, young Renoir and Monet went together on a painting trip to La Grenelier. So next is Vincent Van Gogh. Born in the Netherlands, Van Gogh was a remarkable painter whose works of art are still sold at unbelievable prices across the world today. His contribution to art was basically painting. He created many still life paintings, several of them were portraits of friends and acquaintances. In all, Van Gogh completed about 800 paintings. One thing that distinguished him as a painter with was his grasp for color relationship and unique brushwork. His work is still a great source of inspiration for several impressionists all over the world. So Vincent Van Gogh's famous work is The Starry Night. The Starry Night is an oil-on canvas painting by the Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh. Painted in June 1889, it depicts the view from the east-facing window of his asylum room at St. Remy de Provence just before sunrise with the addition of an imaginary village. So next is John van Eyck. He is one of the most remarkable Northern Renaissance artists and many of his works are greatly copied today. Aside from working for the court, Van Eyck produced several paintings for private clients. One thing that was peculiar to him is that he was the only painter in his era to sign his canvases. So his famous work is Arnold Finney, a portrait, is one of the most recognized artworks in Europe's history of art, whereas the Gent altarpiece was globally recognized at the time it was created. This piece was not well recognized until more than a hundred years after it was completed. So, also here is Donatello. Italian sculptor Donatello is one of the most influential artists of the 15th century in Italy. Known for his marble sculptural, sculpture David, among other popular works. Donatello is regarded as the greatest sculpture or sculptor of the 15th century. He was no doubt one of the best artists of that era. He was very skillful with wood, terracotta, and stone. So his famous work is David. This small but exquisite bronze is one of Donatello's most famous works. It is a 5-foot freestanding bronze sculpture of David from the classic story David and Goliath. He stands in contrapposto, a traditional classical stance of bearing more weight on one leg than the other. Next here is Peter Paul Robbins. Peter Robbins was the most influential figure in counter-reformation Baroque art. His contribution to art, to art was basically paintings. However, he produced almost all possible genres of paintings. He was very versatile, producing cartoons and book illustrations as well as sketches for metalwork and sculptures. So his famous work is The Elevation of the Cross. The elevation of the cross, also called the raising of the cross, is the name of two paintings, a very large triptych in oil on panel and a much smaller oil on paper painting. Both pieces were painted by the Flemish artist Peter Paul Robbins in Antwerp, Belgium, the original in 1610 and the latter in 1638. So next is Elizabeth Louise Vigili Brun is one of the most renowned portraits of 18th century France and the most famous women artist in Europe. 
through talent and perseverance, she achieved success in one of the most turbulent periods of French and European history and became one of Queen Marie Antoinette's favorite painters. She painted more than 20 portraits of Marie Antoinette, along with portraits of other European aristocrats, actors, and writers, primarily women. She was elected to art academies in 10 different cities. She created over 900 paintings in her lifetime, including roughly 600 portraits and 200 landscapes. So her famous work is Marie Antoinette with a Rose in 1783 in an astonishing transformation. She presents the sitter in the same pose and with the same expression while uttering her in the epitome of decorum and taste. The queen wears an elegant lace trimmed dress. So the last one is Georgia O'Keeffe. is one of the most important and successful artists of the 20th century. She was one of the first American artists to embrace abstraction and became one of the leaders of the American modernist movement. Her art is personal and innovative. She is known for paintings of large abstract flowers, dramatic New York skyscrapers, and southwestern landscapes. So her famous work is the Cow's Call. Red, white, and blue is a painting by American artist Georgia O'Keeffe. The painting depicts a cow's skull centered in front of what, what appears to be a cloth background. In the center of the background is a vertical black stripe. On, on either side of that are two vertical stripes of white laced with blue. So thank you and that's the 12 visual artists and with their famous works.